Hey there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. What the hell is this? The third video in three days. What is going on? Who knows? But uh, let's just go with the flow, shall we? I hope you enjoyed those little two videos at the start. Um, basically, we're taking up where we left off in the last video that I did yesterday. I talked about um, different ways of articulating the same arpeggio. And what we're gonna do today is uh, I've done, uh, prepared like a line for you. And at the start, there are two separate versions. The first one is all picked, so every single note is picked. And the second one is a combination with um, hammers and pull-offs, uh, hybrid picking, as well as standard picking. So, like I said before, which one do you prefer? Um, this is what I'm actually trying to get you to do, is concentrate on the sounds of these things rather than, you know, technique. Uh, like I said before, so it really helps to tune your ear into uh, how things really, really sound because it's so easy to get sidetracked with technique that we forget about these extremely important things. So uh, comment below which you prefer. I actually quite like both of them. Um, before I did it, I thought, because uh, I'm not really into picking every single note, uh, certainly not all the time, but you know, after, after playing it and listening, I quite like picking every note, actually. Um, but <laughs> uh, I, I, I do like both of them, so uh, we're going to talk about it anyway. Um, I'm digressing. No, I'm not digressing, am I? Um, so, as always, though, it's subjective. Um, what sounds good to, to me may not sound good to you. What sounds good to you may not sound good to me. Or what, <laughs> you know, or somebody else might have a completely different opinion altogether. So, uh, like I said before, it's subjective. Anyway, why don't we get straight to it and I'll show you the actual line itself, okay? So, I'm just gonna, uh, don't worry about how we're, we're the right hand pattern at the moment. So, I'm just gonna show you exactly what we're doing. We get this diminished kind of sequential pattern. So, we go B, 12, 13, then E, 10, 14, and then back again then B13, G14, and then G11. And then what we're gonna do is move down a fret. So it's a sequential pattern. Okay, following the same thing. You'll have to watch out for this bit here and decide on which fingering that you wanna use. I use But you can use four. I'm not sure whether I used four or, or three in the video. So. Okay, and then just repeat. We're down to B7 here. So let me do that nice and slowly. Excellent, okay. Uh, the following is just a straight ahead B7 arpeggio with a flat nine in it. So we've got one, two, okay. And then we're gonna just descend in groups of four. Okay, so it's... So let me do that all together. I think that's right anyway. Um, that's, that's the pattern. So um, we've got a number of different choices in terms of what we're going to do with the right hand. So if you want to pick every single note, you go ahead and do it. Um, but my personal preference is, is mixing up the techniques. So what I did in the second video, uh, so what I did there was pick every single note, but in the second video, 
I'm using um, hammers and pull-offs. Oh, oops, bollocks. Just here. So it's a combination of down, on, down, up, off, um, pick, pick, off. It's got a completely different sound, a bit more of a fluid sound than the picking every single note. Whoops. I, I really like that. But again, you know, you can do it whichever way you like. Um, you know, uh, you don't have to do it the way that I'm doing it. But uh, what I'd advise you to do is experiment with dif different fingerings. You know, go with whatever feels right to you. And, uh, you know, any work that you do that ends up not being um, your favourite technique, that's work that's in the bag. And it really will spill over into your general playing. So, uh, you know, I talk to guitar players about this all the time. They don't want to waste any time on techniques that they won't end up using. I think it's extremely beneficial to attack it from lots of different angles, you know. So even if you end up not using a specific technique but spending time on it, it's still going to help your playing. You're still going to benefit from that in one respect or another. So, you know, it's, it, it's all good. It's all good. So... Slide down. Same line. Here... This is where I incorporate... Oh, I think I forgot what that line is at the end. Um, I incorporate hybrid picking. So with the groups of four... Ring, middle, down, off. Ring, middle, off, down, middle, off. And then up strokes. That's it. Finishes with this um, uh, minor add nine chord here, but with an open E string. I'm digressing now. So ultimately, what I'm saying is, uh, try both. Try both of those patterns, uh, both of those right hand patterns. Um, so as I said before, the first one is picking every single note. So I'll do each one nice and slowly, so you know what I'm doing. Okay, now with the, uh, now this is the second version. Anyway, you get the point. Uh, so this is all about getting you to try different fingerings with the right hand and really listening to the sound that they create. Okay, I better wrap up there, wrap up there. Hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Um, I'm gonna be doing another one on Thursday, I think, so stay tuned for that. Uh, check out my website um, for downloadable lessons, great way to support me. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll catch up with you guys soon. Cheers.